And now let's have your exercises in the application of Venn diagram. The question is, a survey of 60 people was taken and the following results were seen. 12 customers drank only tea and coffee. Six customers drank only juice. 29 customers drank tea. Two customers drank only tea and juice. 10 customers drank tea, coffee, and juice. 33 customers drank coffee. And one customer drank only juice and coffee. Now we're going to answer letter A, B, C, and D. For letter A, how many customers drank only juice? How many customers drank only coffee? How many customers drank only tea? How many customers did not drink juice, tea, or coffee? So obviously, we have three events. We have tea, juice, and coffee. Tea, juice, and coffee. If you want to solve the problem, then you can pause the video. Then let's check your work after you are done answering. And now let's check your work. Let's go back in our given. 60 people. And the following was seen. Were seen. 12 customers drank only tea and coffee. So, we're going to put 12 in the intersection of tea and coffee. Where is tea and coffee? Tea and coffee. So this is 12. Okay. Next, six customers drank only juice. Only juice. So we're going to write six on the part of juice only. So we are done here and in this given. 29 customers drank tea. So, we will go back in this given because we don't have enough given in our Venn diagram. Number uh, fourth given, two customers drank only tea and juice. Intersection of tea and juice. Tea and juice, there are two. So, we will write two here. Next, 10 customers drank tea, coffee, and juice. Intersection of the three events. So there are 10. Tea, coffee, and juice. 10 here. We are done, done. 33 customers drank coffee. So since we don't have given or we don't have Yet the intersection of juice and coffee. Let us go back in that given later. One customer drank only juice and coffee. Juice and coffee, so one. Okay. So since we have enough given for our intersections, let's go back to the two other given. 33 customers drank coffee. So, the total for coffee is 33. So, we need two less the intersection. 12 plus 10, 22 plus 1, so 23. 33 minus 23, so this is 10. So, we're done here. Next, 29 customers drank tea. So, 40. We have 29. So we need to less the given 12, 10, and 2. So 12 plus 10, that is 22 
plus 2, 24. So 29 minus 24, this will be 5. Since our events are now completed, now let's check the total. So add, okay, let's start with the T. 12 plus 10. 22 plus 2, 24, plus 5, 29. So for the T is 29. Plus 1, 30. 30 plus 10, 40. Plus 6, 46. So the total in our three sets is 46. There are 60 people who surveyed. So 60 minus 46. In our, uh, outside our given data will be 14. Because we have a total of 60. So 46 plus 14 is 60. Let's answer questions letter A, B, C, and D. A, how many customers drank only juice? Juice? So there are six people. Six customers. Letter B, how many customers drank only coffee? Coffee, so 10. Letter C, how many customers drank only tea? Tea, so there are five. And last, how many customers did not drink juice, tea, or coffee? Did not three, so there are four. So we're done, and I hope that you get four out of four. That is good if you made it, or three out of four. Just be careful in writing in our Venn diagram because this is very important. If you have a mistake here, then of course all the remaining questions will be wrong also. Thank you for watching this video and please share to your classmate. And of course, watch our next video. The real number.